Hello everyone, welcome to GW Pro Trading. It's Green Michael here, and in today we're going to be looking at technical analysis on Euro AUD. If you're new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and also smash on the notification bell on this channel so you'll be getting all the information whenever I post content such as this one. As you guys know, I count the alert wave and also share with you points of entries and also what I'm going to be doing for the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing a more time analysis with this one. I'm going to also be counting the wave with you guys, sharing with you points of entries. Okay. Um, first, I want to welcome you to this channel. This is Gwyn and i can't move the alert wave and also share with you price actions from time to time and also share with you um technical analysis and also price prediction using the alert wave concept and i've been doing this for the last nine plus years and i've been doing very successful using this strategy okay so let's just go over to the chat and then let's share also Euro AUD setup and also what we have and also points of possible entries and how I would look to approach this one and what are the reasons why I would look to take some trade decisions when price hits some certain levels of structures and why I want to be doing so. Okay. Um, first, I want to start with the monthly time frame. As you guys know, I do a monthly time analysis whenever I'm doing analysis such as this one and I want to share with you also a monthly analysis that we had for now okay so um possibly around this time we had 2007 we had financial crisis also as well um this was the territories which we had financial crisis and we had the breakout okay so that breakout okay so what i'm looking at here is we're done with this setup right here okay so this is done and we had a drop to downside which is a very fast drop so whatever is happening here uh, looking at the whole overall price action, we could be looking at a possibility that price could also be correcting because this looks possibly like um, a slope choppy price action inside a parallel line. Okay, so we have a parallel line surrounding this movement to the upside over from 2012 to 2021. Okay, so this has moved more sideways. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make some sense and also count the wave if there's any and then let's share with you also points of entries okay so on the monthly time frame what we could also identify from a monthly time frame is that we could i could also identify a possible impulse okay so right from here we had a possible five we moved to the upside that was very unique and we could say that that is our a leg i label that an a leg we have a very first drop to downside which also created an a right here we created a b right here we created a c and then we had what could have been or what is a possible flat structure okay so this is a possible flat structure as you guys know i look at um some of these um structures because it gives me an idea of what the market intends to do okay so that's the core value of an edit wave it provides a context for market action okay so it gives you a reason to be able to make a trade action and also take a trade decision as well so looking at here we have a flat structure and then we have price then break to that point okay so as you guys to understand um basically what i would do is at first i'm going to be targeting the b wave okay and then i'm also going to be targeting the one to some fibonacci extension of the swing a b to the swing c then target the one to some fibonacci so that also targeted i mean of could also see that price then continue to the upside okay so it's a whole possibility that price could also be making a retracement okay um we're looking at um some retracement levels okay so over in the past i've also seen that from the fact that Price have also respected 61.8 Fibonacci retracement areas of swings, okay, such as this one here. I'm going to just put up the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement areas for this one, okay. So this is 61.8 Fibonacci retracement of this swing right around here, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that, okay. So this is the territory we're going to be looking at for 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, okay, around this structure. All right, let's go ahead and see. Okay, so we are in a whole... Fibonacci retracement area. Okay, so we are in a whole Fibonacci retracement area. And what we could be looking at for a possibility for the next move to continue to the side. Okay, so right from this in um this territory here. So the whole of where we are right now in 2021 and also starting the year 2022, we were inside the 61 and also the 78.6 territories of the Fibonacci retracement from the swing low right here to the swing high right here so we did retrace into these territories right here so from this point on we could as well look at the next push to the upside okay so um probably if the next push doesn't come we did see what could also happen if we just go over to zoom in a little bit okay zoom in a little bit and we could see that price did 
first at first stepped into this table to right here okay so price stepped into this table to with this very first drop all right and we also had that bull stepped in and then try to push price out of the zone and market drop one more time here so we're looking at the possibility for a double bottom okay um, a double bottom could also be in play and we can also see that price could also be in play for a double bottom okay so let me just go ahead move on to a different time frame possibly the weekly time frame is going to give us more clarity as to what we should be expecting from the market okay so on a weekly time frame we are still inside of the territories and we can as well expect that we've completed what could also be a double bottom right around here we had that price have then started to move up from this point on but so far price have not broken above this previous structure that was quite right here okay so it's a whole possibility that price could as well bounce one more time and then continue either to the upside or to the downside okay so also let's look at also scenarios which we can also point out in the market first i'm gonna have to draw a trend line joining this two extreme here one and join this next extreme two okay so i'm just gonna go ahead put that that line okay so because i've seen two possible high areas there okay I've seen two possible high areas there and I think I have a lot of lines on this chart. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and check out this one. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and check out the Fibonacci adjustment tool right there. I think that's one's causing okay. Okay, so what we have here, what we have here is okay go ahead move that this out okay so what we have here is a possibility that price did bounce off a double bottom okay so we did have price move up to test this zone drop back down one more time so we can as well see that price could either drop one more time or also further continue to upside breaking this structure and also testing previous highs that then we could look at more price actions okay on a weekly scale okay so on a daily scale is when we're going to be start looking for decisions okay on a weekly scale okay we're done okay so we're looking at two possible scenarios okay so we look at two possible scenarios for a weekly time frame and this is also reflected on the daily i'm just gonna go ahead put up this one right here and um let's just go ahead and do that okay all right so we have a possible structure here okay so we could as well work out a possibility that price having bounce of this territory here for a double bottom would intend to test several highs okay so we looked at um also where we are okay at the moment let's just go over to a four early time frame where we are at the moment and also what decisions we can as well take for the next trade action okay um okay so uh we did have it that price did make a push to the upside after this contraction right here um, we had price move into this territory here, dropping down for a leading structure, which also created an A, A, B, C, which created a B, bigger B. Okay, so we have a smaller A, smaller B, smaller C. So this is A, B, and then we had the drop to downside, which is C. As you guys know, when I'm looking at a flat structure here, I take a look at statistical areas here. Also, first, the B leg is being tacked nicely, and also the one to some Fibonacci extension of the b leg to the c leg is also tacked nicely for this one so this is complete i would want to say that price have completed a right here right right around here b right around here c right around here to complete the pattern okay so what we're looking for is a retracement so whatever is happening here could also be a retracement of this impulse to the downside or could also be the next start of the push to the upside but however what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for a possible contribution to the upside at least to the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement areas of swing high to swing low. I'm going to be looking at Fibonacci retracements. Okay. Um, first, I want to put up a Fibonacci tool and then share with you also what um, possible targets which that is going to be. Okay. So this is 61.8 Fibonacci retracement areas, and that's going to be our final target. Okay. And let's go over to a one hour time frame okay so on the one hour time frame um is what we're going to be working on okay so on the one hour time frame this is what's going on guys okay we have what could have possibly been i looked at this structure here and that was why i took that trade back at also the channel okay so i looked at the possible one 
two and also i looked at a possible three of a b c which should which should have completed the wave five okay to the side what we had overall was more of a truncated wave five and i would say that but overall price did respect the extreme of wave one okay so that could also as well fit into the elite wave rule and also the guidelines because price of the wave four possibly four territories did not go below the price territories of wave one all right so we have it that we had it that price then contracted price felt one more time right around here in the b to the upside breaking back this structure here and i was out of the trade and i didn't want to take any more trade decision with this one okay so i looked at this one here and price corrected an a b maybe just see right around here that i do not know but i'm looking at this as if this would possibly be a three this could also possibly be an a this could also be and a flat structure which is a b and this is a c and this is um it's a whole lot of complicated structure here so um looking at this one here this um could as well be in okay this is extreme right around here so i'm um, looking at this one this should have been c for an upside all right so this fell right around here so we're looking at a possibility that this completed the very first structure here and we could as well say that this is our a b maybe just a c okay so but it looks really odd for that kind of um structure. that would be me trying to force the alien wave into the structure which i have already seen complete okay for this one here i'm going to leave it to what it is i don't know what this structure is i can count the wave in here so i'm going to leave this to what it is but what i'm going to be doing first is i'm going to have to wait for decisions okay if i do have a very shallow structure right here i could look at this as a possible a i could look at this as a possible b and i would wait for a possible c maybe right around this territory and then possibly i would launch it upside okay once i long right from this point and i possibly i'm in profit i'll just shift my stop loss into here to break even because once price fell this environment one more time i think that's a bye bye okay that's a bye bye because it's gonna possibly tell me that we could also be working out a double top structure okay we could also be working out a double top structure and that could also further send price into the next wave which we would be expecting to see and that could have also completed the a right around here b right around here c right around here d right around here just maybe the next wave to the downside which could be also right around there okay i don't know what's going to be guys but i'm going to have to wait for price actions and also price developments and whatever it is i'm going to share it with you also on the channel and if you're subscribed you're going to get all the information whenever i post content such as this one and also giving you a signal that this is ready for the next big move to it any of the directions okay see you next time subscribe like and also share with friends that's the best thank you and to also help in the question of more videos such as this one i love you all